this installment of this uh, how-to video series is going to be on how to align the pegs so that tuning is greatly simplified. Um, we're dealing with a system that's very, very, very simple. It was invented a long time ago and it works very well when it's adjusted properly and uh, for purposes of the violinist it's fantastic. However, if the pegs are misaligned it makes it extremely difficult in the player's position to try and tune the instrument. If the players, are, if the strings are aligned, it becomes very simple. You've got support anchor point on the bridge on the uh, scroll, and again, just like on the bridge, you've got the thumb and forefinger that are doing micro movements for the adjustments. So here we've got. Pretty simple. However, if the pegs weren't aligned properly. I would have to hold it like this or put it down on my knee to get some sort of anchor point that is automatically provided by the hand in this position. We're going to try and make this very simple so that the hand can easily access the pegs to tune each of the GDA strings. The E we're going to deal with separately at the end. So for this to work properly, the pegs will need to be aligned not, perpendic not parallel to the upper rib, but slightly downhill to the upper rib. And that'll make it so that the hand can comfortably reach the pegs for tuning. In this case, the A string is a little bit out of correct alignment, or best alignment for this purpose, and so that's the one that we're going to adjust a little bit. To do that, it's really, really simple if people keep it very simple. What typically causes problems are when people try and make a slight adjustment, but they also change the way that the, the string is wound around the peg or you know, any other change will magnify whatever, whatever movement you've made to make it that much more difficult to be in any way accurate. What you want to do is keep the movement very simple and focused. So, to get the A string in a little bit better, the A peg in a little bit better alignment, I'm, I'd like it to be a little bit more this direction. So right now, for in tune, it's here. So for it to get there here, it means that the string needs to be a little bit shorter so it doesn't have to turn as far to get into the proper tuning. So, to do that, I'm going to get, with the tweezers, I'm going to grab the end of the string and pull it a little bit farther through the peg. So there's a little bit less of the string wound around the peg, but it'll make it so that the string tunes to the desired pitch sooner which will leave it in alignment with the other strings. So, to do this, I'm going to keep tension on the string because I don't want anything to change. So, I'm loosening it, but I'm keeping anything from moving. And then, when I've got easy access and a little bit of slack, I can reach in and grab the end of the string. And what I'm going to do now, I've got it in the tweezers, and what I'm going to do is loosen up a little bit with the hand that's providing the tension on the string at the same time that I pull with the other hand so that it's going to move about, in this case, about an eighth of an inch, I'm going to pull the string toward me, i.e. that much further through the peg hole. So loosen it up a little bit, give a little bit of a tug, feel it move, and then put the tension back on with the left hand and tighten the string up. 
So we haven't detuned the instrument dramatically, and we haven't changed the way that the strings are wound around the peg. All we've done is changed how much of the string is pulled through the through the hole in the peg. So. So at this point, the instrument is up on my shoulder, and I now have three pegs that are at the proper pitch, and they're parallel, reasonably parallel with one another, so that I can anchor with several fingers and tune with my thumb and forefinger on the A string, the D string, and the G string. For the E string, most of the tuning is done in this position. So you'll typically be most comfortable by having the A peg, the, I'm sorry, the E peg uh, parallel with the line of the peg box. So in this case, the string is, you know, actually we can probably just skip this part because most of the tuning on the E peg will get it really close in this position. Sometimes it's more or less convenient. We can possibly go into details of getting that in the most ideal position at a later time, but right now I think we've got enough to keep track of the three main strings that we want to get aligned properly. For the E string, we've got such an advantage here of the E tuner. So we're going to leave that one for now and move along. Thank you. If you have any comments about this, please email Char, and we can make modifications and adjustments and add things or remove things as viewers uh, feel would be necessary. Thank you.